sweet, sweet stars, welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you have had a good week and everything is rocking and rolling in your world. We've had snow in sunny Stoke-on-Trent, so it's um it's quite nice really looking out on the view over nature today and really seeing the, the snow-capped um, hills. We say Merlin's Great Mountains are, are painted in snow and that is the, the kind of view I have got. I know if we go beyond that, you can start to see the edge of the peak district and there's snow all around so um yeah it's a really beautiful beautiful vibration for us to do your reading today the mother nature is really calling to us um and merlin's great mountains too so that being uh being in mind what we're going to do today is what do they wish you knew deck number one deck number two this one is called the Earth Child Tarot. I've had it for years. Um, and this one is the Everyday Witch. And I know I've had that for years because everyone used to call it their favourite decks with the kitties on it. Or you guys used to call it the kitty deck. Deck number one, deck number two, what do you what do they wish you knew? So your person. So we're just going to go into their energy and your energy and pull out the strongest energy between you all. Um, so that's how a collective reading works on this channel. I don't know how other tarot readers work, um, but being Claire Audient and having that very strong connection with spirit and the other world, um, we work on the mutual energy between you guys, we being me and my spirit guides. So thinking about your person and going into their energy... We're just going to ask, what do they wish you knew? What do you, what do they wish that you knew about them, about the connection? Let's just see what comes up. What do they wish you knew? Okay, I'm just going to have to get you to repeat that, please. So what Spirit have just said to me is, may you find the channel of your peace. Um, now, I find that actually very, very beautiful that they've just come through and said that to you. Very um, high vibration. And it's also quite a calming energy that they're coming forward for you. So what spirit want you to know, not just your person, but what spirit want you to know is that there is a calming energy really being placed for you. They say that you've been a bit frustrated with them. Perhaps you've been swearing at them a little bit or getting your uh, knickers in a twist at them. And they want you to know that they can hear you. <laughs> They want you to, <laughs> sorry guys, they want you to know that they can hear you um, and they are acknowledging everything that you're saying, but they want to come and give you that kind of calming energy. Um, and they're also saying to you, not all hope is lost. So if you are feeling at the end of your tether and you're feeling a very heavy energy um, around you at the moment, don't go too hard on yourself or your connection with the person that you're asking about. Don't go too hard on that because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And with that, I just got um, the musical song from Starlight Express there's a light there's a light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> that one okay so what does your person want you to know well they are holding on to the situation so if you're feeling that this situation hasn't made movement if you're feeling like it's stagnant if you feel like nothing is going on if you're not in contact whatever your individual circumstances are and what is going on on your individual circumstances your person is clinging on to the situation they haven't moved on if you're wondering that they haven't um thrown it all to the wayside they are still holding on to the connection and there is an element of grounding that is coming forward here so your person's feeling quite logical about the situation with you guys and um, they're trying not to act too much on emotion at this point in time spirit saying and that's where that grounding energy is coming forward so not quite acting on emotion but trying to stabilize their emotions for you they're still holding on to it they're working a bit matter of fact about it but they are still holding on to the situation with you now we've got the seven of swords coming in with what you need to know so you might feel that there's been a little bit of deception around you you might feel that they've lied to you you might feel that everything's a little bit peak tongue but what spirit are saying with this card for you is actually what's going on with them is they're taking a bit of a risk with it all because they're scared of losing you so you can feel that the, how they've handled the situation and what they've said towards you it has perhaps not quite been what you wanted to hear but what Spirit's saying is that element of risk okay is coming forward here as well so they feel that they've been taking a bit of a risk with the connection of putting their heart on the line and that's why they've withdrawn and gone into this stable energy that makes sense to you 
okay so withdrawn from the situation and um, they've been wearing a bit of a mask with the connection between you guys and they've been a bit afraid of letting the heart in or taking a risk of allowing this situation to transform and you guys to be together so we've got a lot of fear energy coming up with that now moving on from these cards over here this is where your energy currently is at with them um, and what they would want you to know about that is that they are still holding on to the situation and that they have got emotions for you um, but they're just at that point where they don't want to be coming uh, vulnerable before these emotions transform um, and the situation can grow so that's what they want you to know we're going very deep into that energy very very deep now other cards that are coming up you've got the page of pentacles six of wands and the king of wands as well so we have got this very strong sexual energy around you. They are very, very attracted to you. They think that you are very sexy, you're flirty, you're fun, and they have these emotions for you there. Again, with the emotions kind of coming up here and that they're heart guarding them a little bit, this is also being said with the King of Wands. Okay, he's acting. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But kings always kind of in this male energy. Okay, it's what, what the kings and queens, but this is the male energy. It's the person you're thinking about. So they are actually feeling more emotional towards you, but they're just blocking it at this point in time. And they might you might find that they um, have been acting a bit more sexual towards you rather than emotional. And again, the reason why is because when they have emotions, they realise they've got to let their guard down and they're not game to that at this point in time because it gives them that vulnerability other cards coming up over here my nose going we've got the six of wands and the page of pentacles okay so if you are expecting a message this is your indicator to say that they are going to get in touch with you and um, if you are looking for the situation to transform uh, this is an indicator that it can happen we have messages coming forward for you and they are based more on stability and um, so when again with these emotional side of things hiding away from the emotions yes but we have this logical approach to the situation so they're going to come towards you give you some form of offer and say yo what's going on um how's it going um been thinking about you lots fun flirty high vibration energy um, and a message coming forward that is much more um you know happy okay so success successful messages coming forward for you so if you are waiting for the call this is the indicator that they're going to message we have the heart-centered energy really kind of coming up with the ones ones are normally all about passion but there is this underlying emotions here um, and again that's why your person hasn't communicated that to you so let me just summarize that because i know that was like quite a lot of detail and then i'm just going to pull you some oracle cards from this deck um so what those what the tarot is saying what spirit are saying um is that your person is holding on to the situation. They have got a mask um, with the connection. They haven't allowed you into the heart yet because they're scared. They've been acting more on a sexual energy, on the chemistry between you guys, but underneath that, there are underlying emotions and you will get a message from them. And the message that you get from them will be much more stable and secure. Okay, so if you're looking for emotional messages, you're probably going to end up something more like um, talking about family, talking about stability and security and relationship growth. And let me just clarify deck number one with some oracle cards. So this deck I've had for years, uh, 2015, the Vessel Heart deck. I'm just going to pull you two of these. There we go. Okay, so we have communication and birth. So with this is saying, um, again, communication, we know that that is coming forward over here. So your person is going to be reaching out to you. Um, and when they do reach out to you with birth and the six of wands over here, this is talking about a connection, birthing, giving birth to life. Okay, very womb space energy going on over here. Whenever we connect with the womb space energy, um, we are looking at new life and new birth okay um so birthing of a connection between you guys we also have the intellect the third eye make sure that you are following your intuition uh with this connection if you think all hope is lost it hasn't gone to the wayside they've had this bit of a block up a bit of a brick wall but they're gonna slam that brick wall to the floor and it's gonna build okay the connection can build with you with communication and birth so that's step number one. Uh, quite mixed, not mixed up messages as such, but quite, um, you might feel like you're pulling teeth, you know? That's kind of how that reading's come forward, that they 
are you, you frustrated with the situation and it's really showing up in the cards that element of frustration because your person is just not handling the situation in the way you, that you want or in any way in particular they're just kind of like oh well you know let's just see how it goes let's see where it unfolds um but do know that they're holding on to it okay they can see the situation transforming and you're indicated that communication can come through or will come through with you guys um, and that will lead to rebirth so a positive outcome, even though you feel like you're pulling teeth. That's deck number one. Okay, let's shoot over to deck number two. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome, everyone. So this is the kitty deck, as you'd call it, um, or the everyday witch. But when I first started the channel, you guys make it the kitty deck. So we are using that today. And we are doing what to do they wish you knew. So we're looking at your person and we're going into their inner, uh, inner energy their exterior energy their inner energy and we're going to see what they wish you knew about the connection or about them or in general so what does their person that you're thinking of you guys think <laughs> of your person what do they wish you knew let's see what comes up what do they wish you knew? If you can hear lullabies in the background, <laughs> you're not going crazy. Uh, Hunter's just having a nap and I've got the monitor underneath the um, recorder. So, um, yeah. You've also got the Seven of Swords. That's really interesting. Oh, we've got two of them together. What do they wish you knew? Four. Five. Right, okay, your person. Well, we are in a bit of a kerfuffle here as well. So the two cards, let's let's start off at the end and work our way backwards, okay? Or where they are at the moment. These two cards jumped out. Now they are both swords, seven of swords, nine of swords. Your person is very, very much in their mind at the moment. And they have got a big, big sense of fear over this they spirit is saying to me they feel that they've put their heart on the line because you've got the king of cups over here and they're worried that they're gonna get hurt so they're worried that you're gonna betray them they're worried that perhaps you're lying to them they're worried that perhaps you guys haven't really uh thought about them and, and what they want from the situation and you kind of just been thinking about it on your own terms and they have got this major major panic over it all now if you're feeling that your person has withdrawn from the connection this is why this is why they have got fear a lot a lot of fear and it is very very air energy so very much of the mind their mind is playing tricks on them they're feeling vulnerable they're feeling a little bit uh, and i want to say like give me a different word <laughs> they're feeling like they've got their heart on the line and perhaps you've um questioned their integrity or questioned what they're up to um and there is this fear that comes from that a lot of that will be past related spirits saying to me. A lot of that will have come from previous relationships where someone's questioned their integrity before and they're thinking, well, you know, is it going to happen again? What's going to happen? So we have a lot of fear energy. Now, there is ways to counteract this because you and your person are very, very closely linked. What you can do is give some grounding energy to yourself. So when we're up in the air energy, as the full-on druid that I am, <laughs> when we're up in the air energy, we're very much of the mind. And we counteract that by going into earth energy, that grounding energy. So things that you can do, and I, I know every psychic kind of says it, but take a walk outside. <laughs> get the fresh air get the nature but actually some stuff that I do prefer um than doing that. I mean I'm a big big nature girl and I always say you know get outside but I also feel that that can be quite generic what other things are really good for you is if you can get some root vegetables inside your body so um anything that grows from the earth literally uh casseroles are really good very british but you know if you want a good casserole recipe let me know because i make the best casserole um, and have it with uh, mashed potato and yorkshire puddings which is great because potatoes are earth energy the root vegetables that would go into the casserole so you've got like parsnips and carrots and celeriac and onions all of this is very very earthly energy now when you take that into your body visualizing it being the kitchen witch that you are visualize that's having an effect on your person and it will go from your energy but energetic body through to their energetic body so it's really really good thing you can do for some grounding things other things you can do is natural spring water that's always really good that helps 
kind of calm your emotions a little bit. Um, you could also do some kind of planting of herbs, planting in your garden, all that kind of stuff will help counteract your person being in fear. But the key to that is when you do all those things, when you do that little elements of magic you ask that that transforms and mutates to have your person feel the benefits of it too and that gets them out of the air energy and if you need anything more on that and you want us to look at your specific uh, situation give me a shout mr love tarot at gmail.com and we can i can have a look and uh, if you want any druid ceremonies and we can get everything's ticking and moving just throwing that out there for you now the next two cards that kind of come up were temperance and death and these you also have the wheel of fortune as well so we've got major arcanas coming in this situation is big okay between you guys you have not gone crazy your person does have very very strong feelings for you it's just that they're having a little bit of a panic over it now with temperance and death jumping out together anywhere that this situation has been stagnant um it is now transforming both these cards symbolize transformations okay things are happening and spirit is saying things are changing behind the scene and what's changing behind the scene is that your person is expanding their emotions being very, very aware of their feelings um and focusing that on a family orientation so wanting that relationship with you okay so where you are now is in the air energy very very much of the mind where it's going next is this transformation okay things when one door closes another opens where it has been in this fear-based energy that is coming to a close and the alchemy is happening things are changing and through that change the wheel of fortune then steps in so things turning the situation turning breaking out of a cycle very much home orientated very much family orientated with the king of cups they're going to express their emotions towards you so what do they wish you knew that they're in at the moment they're in a little bit of fear as time progresses they're going to have this transformation of the situation and they are going to come towards you and express their emotions and express their feelings for you and see where it goes um i just want to clarify what's going to cause this transformation what will cause this transformation and i just got the song uh finch by finch i'm uh letters to you i want you to know that i miss you i miss you so so that kind of shows what's going on and um, they're going to get quite burdened by the situation and really feel that missing energy and when that missing energy hits that's when the situation transforms so let's just pull you some oracles as well just to clarify all of this so can i have some oracles for deck two? Oh, okay so the first card that's jumped out is anxiety we also have power and fear so where your person currently is at the moment, anxiety and fear. Okay, so this symbolizes everything that we said over here, that they are in a state of fear at this point in time and they are afraid of being hurt. They have this anxiety from that. Now, sometimes uh, with anxiety, I find that anxiety is actually excitement and it can be a little bit messed up with um how we perceive it okay so sometimes when you're feeling, feeling anxious you're actually more in an excited feeling but because your person is in fear they've got they've got these nerves of getting hurt again getting getting frightened um and this fear energy coming up so that's where your person currently is um still thinking about you even if you're not in contact they are very much thinking about you they are changed the connection and i just got this uh i don't know who sings it but i see you on the club all eyes on you they are watching what you're up to if you're on social media they are watching what's going on and from that the power card comes through so this situation even though it's quite heavy at the moment what they'd want you to know is that the connection lies deeply in that energetic field with power coming forward there is a strong connection between you guys things can shift and things can change and um, but they have to have this time of missing you and wanting to speak to you for this dynamic to really take the change uh, and for you to gain power and for them to gain power of these these heavy thoughts that are coming into their mind again make sure that you counteract the air energy with earth energy and if you do need me and you want to know a little bit more about all that jazz and um, drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com or you can instagram me uh just mr love tarot or facebook actually mr love tarot all right guys um i love you all to pieces i will speak to you super super soon have a blessed week and uh, lots of love Ciao, ciao.